Okay, you guys, I've been holding on to this one for a little while. This is the Alias Holster Mount System. It's a pretty cool concept. I've used it for a couple of months, and I thought that it was time that we sit down and we talk about it. First off, this Alias system, it is a mount system. It's not a holster. So what I'm using is the Mechanitech Talon holster for the Hellcat Pro. This Alias system, this is by Neomag and you know, they have all different options as far as like the style of belt clip uh, that your holster uses and uh, the, the adapters for the alias. You can go over there, you can check it out. There's a lot of them, but because I already had this holster sitting here, I ordered this particular adapter. You guys know the drill. Links and stuff down in the description. Using those links when you buy stuff is what keeps this channel going. The other thing that keeps the content coming is Patreon. You guys want to see behind the curtain? You want to see the process of making these videos? Patreon is basically your all access pass to me. Members get to see what's coming up. Uh, they get to see what cool stuff has arrived in the mail. The Patreon is fairly new, but we're going to have exclusive giveaways and exclusive content strictly for the members of Patreon. As soon as the member numbers get big enough, we're gonna go ahead and do our first giveaway. Um, who knows, maybe I'll throw a couple Neo Mag Mag carriers in there. We can talk about that later though. For now, I wanna talk about this alias holster mount system. The whole idea behind this is that what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the belt clip off of your existing holster and you're gonna replace it with one of the alias belt clips. These clips, they go ahead and they clip down into these alias uh, receivers. There you go. Then, whenever it is that you're ready to take your holster back off again, you can go ahead and unlock it, take it out, and be on about your way. Pretty simple idea. And now that you kind of get the basic gist of it, let's talk about the different types of receivers because this is kind of where it all comes together is the receivers. First, we have the beltless receiver. And the idea behind this is, of course, uh, times when you aren't wearing a belt. Uh, that could be anything from joggers and sweatpants to you know somebody who wears jeans, but for whatever reason, doesn't wear a belt to be able to clip a holster to. The cool thing about this uh, beltless receiver is that it can be worn in any position that suits your carry style. So if you want to wear it um, in the appendix position, you can do that. Uh, you can put it, um, you know, strong side, you can put it uh, the small of your back, wherever it is that you want your gun to be. You just go ahead and clip this onto your pants and then slide your holster in place. Now the beltless receiver itself, it has these uh, ulti clips. I, I'm not a big fan of the ulti clips to be honest, but they are adjustable. You've got a couple of holes here. You can adjust your ride height up or down as far as uh, this, this mount goes. And once you get these ulti clips opened up, you can go ahead and wedge those down in your pants, lock them down, and this thing is not going to move. Now I've talked to a lot of people who absolutely swear by these types of clips. I don't know, um, they seem really tight and as far as being able to trust the fact that they're not going to come loose, um, I think you can trust them. A lot of people swear by them. I personally, I'm not a big fan. I think primarily that's because I'm really big on actually wearing a gun belt. I think if I were in a situation where more often I left the house wearing something where I wasn't able to wear a gun belt, then I'd probably have a different outlook on these uh, clips. But I'm a big belt guy. On the flip side of that, I have talked to a lot of subscribers who are ladies. Believe it or not, there are ladies that watch my channel. Um, a lot of them love these clips uh, for those instances where they don't wear a belt. Skirts, jeans, yoga pants, these things clamp down hard and they alleviate the need for a belt. I mean, you still have the weight of your gun tugging down at you know your, your pants or whatever. The beauty of this system is that instead of the weight of your gun being all right here, it's actually spread out a bit. So I have more of this with sweatpants and it does quite a bit better than if you were to just put 
holster down into sweatpants. It's not as secure as I would like, but again, belt guy. Um, if you're not a belt person, this is a really good uh, kind of alternative to a belt. So when you leave the house, all you gotta do first off is get your pants or whatever it is that you're wearing. Clip this portion into your pants where it is that you want your gun to be, get dressed, then go ahead and take this guy right here, slide it in there, whoop, click it in place, and you're ready to leave the house. If that's not your thing, don't worry. There are other options that we're gonna talk about. This right here is an alias receiver with a belt bracket installed on it. Now this one's pretty cool because it's a similar type of receiver, except it has this bracket. So I can go ahead and slide my belt through here, um, get it all put on my pants, and I'm a belt guy. So this actually works out for me quite a bit better than the other system. Now remember, the alias isn't just a holster mount, it's an entire ecosystem. So let's say this morning, um, I was out doing some cardio, which fair enough, I probably should have been doing. Um, I can go ahead and take this beltless receiver. I can clip it down into, you know, my, my warmups or whatever. Um, click my holster in place. Then I can go out and get my cardio in. And when I get home, it's easy enough to go ahead and hit that button, pull the holster off, shower down, get dressed for my day. When I go ahead and get dressed for my day, I can go ahead and put my belt on with the other receiver that I have here. And when I leave the house, I can go ahead and take that same holster and clip it down into this receiver and leave the house. Holster solutions aren't a one size fits all type deal, okay? During my testing, I went ahead and placed my belt buckle um, just slightly off centered. Um, with this mount at the appendix position worked out really well for me. This isn't really a big deal because most of the time uh, you're, if you're wearing a belt, you're going to wear that belt buckle off to the side a little bit anyways to give you room for a belt clip to attach. And up till this point, you're probably sitting there thinking to yourself, why am I going to spend all this money on this extra stuff when I, you're not doing anything that I'm not already doing with the holster that I already have. And for the most part, I would agree with you right up until the point that we talk about this little gem right here. This is the hard mount for the alias clips. And this is the thing that I think really helps this whole ecosystem from the alias stand out. This mount right here, you can mount it anywhere. You can mount it in the car. You can mount it underneath of your desk. I don't know, on your toolbox, wherever you want. So we did our cardio this morning using the beltless receiver. We got home from that and we took a shower, we got ready for our day. Uh, we went ahead and used the receiver that has the belt bracket to go ahead and swap over to that so that we could leave the house and go take care of business, whatever that may be. Carrying in the appendix position while driving, we all know it's not the most comfortable thing. You, know, you can pull your pants up a little bit, you can adjust here and there, but it's still not comfortable. It's still not easy to get to. So this, bracket right here. You can go ahead and mount this in your car. And when you pull your holster out from the appendix position on the belt mount, and then you have this, you know, on the, the inside of your car, you can go ahead and lock that holster in there. And now it's set in a position that you chose and ready to go. When you get to where you're going, it's as simple as hitting the unlock tab at the bottom, pulling your holster out, sliding it back into your pants where you have this guy right here, and you're good to go. There are endless situations where this can come in handy. Now I've been doing this whole thing long enough to know that people are super picky when it comes to holsters. Not just the brand, but the style, the type of belt clips, where and how they wear the holster. I've read through enough comments and I have talked to enough people to know that this alias system, it's not going to be for everybody. It's certainly not going to be for everybody every time that they leave the house. My goal though with what I do here is to try stuff out and not only see if it works, but also to see how well it works. Because the whole point of these videos is 
to try to find different solutions to different problems that people may have with concealed carry or with the firearms in general. I am here to help expand the list of options available to you to use for your daily life. When you look at the list of options that are available for this alias system, you might be a little bit surprised when you see the list of options that are available with this alias system. You know, what I have here, these couple of things, this is like the basic uh, starter pack, so to speak. They have quite a bit more listed on the website, so you definitely want to go and check those out. If you've been looking for something for your carry needs that is just a little bit different than every other thing that's out there, I've got a link below for you. Go check it out, see what they have available, take a good look, and see if it might be something that fits your personal needs. Personally, I've found these to be extremely high quality and I cannot say enough good stuff about the alias mounting system. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you back here real soon.